Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Web Flux Essentials. So, this is the last video that I had planned for this playlist, and in this one, we are going to set up Spring Docs to work with Web Flux. Well, it's pretty simple. First, we have to go to our POM file, and uh, we are going to add one dependency here. This dependency will be called uh, Spring Doc. Open API. We should have uh, Webflux here somewhere. There you go. So Webflux UI. And this is the latest version available. You can move this to the, the properties. Okay, so with this one, you just uh, make sure that you are importing uh, the Maven dependencies. And now we can start making some changes in the project. So just by adding this, and for example, we can come to the anime controller and we can add, for example, let's add it here to the list all, add the operation from Swagger. And uh, we can use summary, it will list all animes. And uh, we can use tag as we saw in the Spring Boot playlist that this will group our endpoints. For example, this is anime. Okay, so there are a couple of things. First one, uh, once we add here and restart, we may see some errors related to our loved block hound. So by mistake, I started the integration test. Let's come here, start this one. And let me delete this because we already have what we need. So we have uh, everything running. By default, the port be, that will be used will be localhost 8080 and we, we can type Swagger UI. And you can see here that we have a blank page and this blank page is because we have one error. So the Swagger works getting some files and you, if you scroll up, you are seeing three messages here because I think it tried to get three files. So it tried to get this Swagger UI bundle, standalone JS and uh, UI CSS. So we don't have much options here. I don't know how to overcome that uh, without opening a ticket for them. So what we can do is uh, allow the block hound to actually let it go. So for this, we can add another dot allow blocking calls inside, and uh, we need to figure out the the package. So I did that job for you. It's somewhere in between all these uh, exceptions. What we are looking for is this future input string. So we can copy this one and we add here the class and the method that we would like to allow. Cool. Now let's just start the application. Let's come here and let's refresh this page. And now you can see that we can uh, have access to these enemies. So let's copy this one here and let's open on the cognito tab. You see that we need to log in. So I had a session somewhere. If you try to access without uh, being logged in, you will be redirected to this login page. I think I didn't show this page when I was talking about the web flux security, but this page is uh, created by default by Spring Security. So for example, uh, we can log in with David and we can set the password here, Dev Dojo. So not set, use the password. And we have this uh, 500 internal error. And this was block out again. So this time was the input stream. So let's see if, I don't know why it's not getting here. Probably it was trying to use something to redirect. But if we access here, let's uh, close and let's open again. Oh, 
اوكي ديفيد باب دوجو يا yeah. looks like we do need to allow the other one as well so what file let me check here okay swagger config let's allow this one as well so i believe it will be this one so just duplicate change this one here and then maybe it's this one well you know what let's try and see Cool. let's refresh signing David Dojo and there you go now we have access to these uh, pages sorry these endpoints but doesn't mean that we will be able to see all of them so because of the tag now this is under anime and as David if we try to execute we will get access denied so unfortunately there is no simple way that you can just hide whatever you don't have a permission but there is something else that we can do it's um, adding the first letting people just see this page without having to be authenticated and the second one is adding uh, an authorize here so since this is the, the last video let's do that in one shot basically what we are trying to achieve is let anyone uh, to see this page without being authenticated so for that we have to change a little bit our security config and we have to let it go a couple URLs. So add one path matcher and this one uh, will let it go for um, C. We will need to uh, if I'm not wrong, swagger dash ui.html. And we have more here. I will copy this one. So we have swagger UI and everything that's also under this path and we should allow slash v3 everything that's under this path cool I think uh, maybe under web jars again mm. Let's add uh, this one as well. So we add another one. Remove this one. Okay, and for all these guys, you just let it go. Okay, so now we just uh, restart the server. Or you could just hot deploy. And let's see if we can access on private mode. Okay, so we can access, we are not authenticated. If you try to execute this, you will get this. Uh, login form. So, what we want now is to let people input their basic authentication. Just go back here and on anime controller, we need to add the security scheme here. Security scheme. And we can give a couple a couple more information here. For example, we can say that basic authentication and then we can also tell here the type the type will be security scheme type and we'll be playing HTTP and we can give here the scheme basic so when we do this we have to come to 
the endpoints we have this operation and we need to add something else that is the security basically the security I'm going to show you security requirement and uh, then we have the name let's copy this same name here and let's reload the application Cool. Now let's go back, let's refresh, and you will see now that we have this uh, lock and we have this authorize. So basic authentication, username, we can use, uh, let's use William because we have permission, password uh, devdojo. And now, if you try it out and you execute, you can get access, and if you log out, and you execute again you do get this formal login and if you log in with david dev dojo authorize and you close it and you execute you get access denied so this is it this is how you can secure so if you want you can copy to all of them you can just uh, remove the summary and we can leave the tag enemy so just copy this one so we can quickly finish with a good API and then you just refresh your application okay it started There you go so all of them now if you give the correct credentials you will see that the icon will change for all of them it means that you are authenticated okay guys that's all that I had to tell you uh, if uh, you know the drill if I find something interesting about webflex that I believe it should be recorded I will come back and record uh, more videos but for now this is everything that I have to tell you in this playlist. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave your feedback. I also would like to hear what did you think about all these uh, videos. So have a good uh, morning, evening or afternoon and see you in the next videos. Bye.